Hi, this is Stacia. Um, so here's uh, an end game puzzle for you. And it's White's turn, and it's White to move and win. So if you'd like to pause your video, please do so now, and then I will share the solution. Okay, and the solution is actually King F5. So this is a fascinating puzzle because it has a lot to do with Zugzwang and trebuchet. I think that's how you, what you, how you say it. <laughs> Which I learned from Soman's Endgame Manual in like, I think it was the 1400 to 1600 section. So the point is that black can't go here because we would come here. And this is a chess pattern that you should know. Um, called trebuchet, trebuchet? I, don't, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> um, but it's a very common pattern. And in this type of pattern, um, whoever's turn it is, is going to lose because they cannot maintain defense of their pawn. So the Black King is defending this pawn, but it's his turn. He has to move. He cannot go here, and if he goes to any other square, this pawn will be lost. So, you know, so in this case, it would go like this. Um, so king f5, and now we just analyzed that the king cannot come here because we will go to the square. So the king must go here. And in this case, now we, we want to win this pawn, but if we go after it directly, now we're in the same position with white to move. And again, this would lose. We cannot occupy the square. And that's the only square that would maintain defense of our D pawn in this case. So if we went, if we moved away, this is winning for black. So it's king f5, king b4, and now the star move of the game, I guess, would be king e6. And so by playing king e6, we're saying, yeah, we're not going to give you the, the uh, trebuchet um, position but now what can black do to avoid it so obviously if black goes here this is that same position and now black cannot maintain defense of their pawn so they would lose here but at the same time um, since black cannot come here this square is unavailable because it's uh, defended by our pawn and if they come here this also loses uh, the defense of the pawn. So black has no moves here. So in fact, this is probably the best move even though it loses. And now we have this. And this wins. So um, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, also, I'd like to just quickly go over what the candidate moves were in the beginning. So. Hopefully what you did um, at the start was to analyze where what moves do we have available in this endgame. So we have the move king e3 is a candidate move. This is a candidate move, king f5, which turns out to be the only winning move in this position. And then we have this move and here as well. Um, it is possible, you know, like a plan sometimes is to go after this H pawn. But in this case, that doesn't, that actually doesn't work. So we can try it. Like, so if the king comes here, then king c4 is a huge threat, right? Going, going after our pawn. But after we take here, this is just a draw. So you play like king g5, king c4 moving out of the way. Also, the king has to be careful not to go here because he would be on the queening square. So that's something you'd want to avoid and put into your calculations. And from this point, um, it's just a draw. So it's it's a race. And at the end, black queens, but our king is off the queening square as well. And then we're, we're going to queen as well. And it's just a draw at this point. So... You do need to analyze um, these moves and determine it's just a draw. And then, you know, of course, the most obvious moves are going to the e-file to win the pawn. But, you know, when you analyze, 
this move automatically loses to king c4 because now we're in that trebuchet position. And likewise, um, if we play king e3, same sort of thing. The king's going to come to c4. And now where do we go? This square is unavailable. This square is unavailable. And we're going to lose our pawn. So if we move something like this, this is winning for black. So once we roll out the moves to the G file and we move out the moves to the E file, that really only leaves this um, king f5. And I'm sorry, I forgot a move as well. King f5 and king f3. So king f3 is worth looking at too. But again, I think king f3 doesn't do anything against king c4. It's the same type of thing now. If we try to defend the pawn, Black has king c3, and again, this square is unavailable, and now the king has opposition against us. So we would be forced away, I guess like king e2, I don't know, but this is winning for black too. Black has their king in front of the pawn, so they're going to, their plan is going to be to step out of the way, and they can bring their king here and escort the pawn to queen. So, fascinating position. I'll show how the actual puzzle goes one last time. So king f5, the only winning move, of avoiding the zugzwang. The king cannot play c4 now because that would also lose to zugzwang. So they come here. And now we play king e6. So again, voiding the trebuchet uh, position. And now the black king has no good squares. Every, every move loses. Um, they can try this, but here's that well-known chess pattern with black to move and lose. And so maybe they come here. And, and then, you, you know, from here, it's just a win. Kings, the king's in front of the pawn. And there's just nothing black can do. They can, they can go for this, but it's going to be too slow. Yeah, and we're about to queen. So um, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And have a great day.